okay this is the bone marrow house a monocyte a monocyte this is a monocyte it's a young cell it's sort of a happy cell it is just having fun I'm trying to make it nice and dandy so this is a nice monocyte right so this nice monocyte I'll make it some shoes so it can walk so this nice monocyte is coming out of the blood vessel sorry bone marrow it's going to enter a blood vessel and so it will become part of the blood so here is the monocyte that is why this this system the macrophage system is called macrophage monocyte system because both of those cells are actually same cell their medium or their presence is different so when the monocyte comes out of the bone marrow goes into the blood it is called monocyte now please remember this do not forget this remember this please remember this a monocyte which is present in the blood is not active compare this to the neutrophil neutrophil which is present in the blood is active a neutrophil present in the blood can capture stuff which it think are pathogens and eat them and kill them a monocyte is very limited or or it has a very negligible activity so what is it doing it just is wandering around how long would it wander around 10 to 20 hours so a monocyte is going to wander around inside the blood just going having fun inside the whole body for 10 to 20 hours after that time this monocyte is going to get out and go into the tissue now the question is so again our our theme of our studies is to clear our concepts so sometimes students carry various confusions in their head and they just keep them even as doctors and that as these are the concepts which cause problem when actual practical problems appear a monocyte gets out into the tissue from the blood vessel good how does it go out why would it go out so remember we've talked about it in the past for the neutrophil if not go back to the neutrophil lecture and read it in the past we've talked about it that the neutrophil will migrate from the blood vessel into the tissue after some chemotactic factors are present chemotactic factors where do they come from they normally come from the tissue if tissue is experiencing some damage what are the chemotactic factors tissue breakdown products macrophage is present in the tissue sending the chemotactic factors other cells present in the tissue sending the chemotactic factors endothelium of the of the cells which are present near the broken tissue sending the chemotactic these are chemical factors which allow other cells to be to be brought into that area to to cause inflammation and repair and healing so the question is will a macrophage get out or will a monocyte get out of the blood vessel after a chemotactic factor is encountered no and yes yes if there are chemotactic factors present if a tissue is damaged if a virus or a bacteria is having fun here so remember our little little monster viruses and bacteria they really love to have fun right so this guy is just jumping around so why is it jumping around why is it having fun because this this guy really really thinks that he is having fun and is enjoying the life so in that part in its mission of enjoying the life inside our body what is it going to do it's going to be breaking up the tissue remember the viruses get into the cell they replicate in the cell they break the cell they come out and of course the cell breaks down those breakup products are the chemotactic factors so of course if there is a tissue injury or if there is infection in the tissue that would cause the chemotactic factors to be present if that is the case then a monocyte is going to leave the blood vascular system even if it is not 10 to 20 hours it's natural a monocyte finds out within two minutes of its entry into the blood system that hey i need to get out and fight with an infection it will get out so it is not necessary that a monocyte is given a ride for 10 to 20 hours inside our blood vascular system and it cannot get out me meanwhile no it will get out but now this is important but if there is no chemo attractant factor if there is no chemo tactic factor even then a monocyte is going to exude or get out of the blood vascular system from 10 to 20 hours that is what is important to keep in mind so a monocyte is going to get out anyways most 
important thing for it to get out is going to be the chemotactic factors, infections, bro bro tissue breakdowns and so on, but it is going to get out 10 to 20 hours. Okay. So, 10 to 20 hours monocyte is going to get out or chemotactic factor is going to cause the monocyte to get out and we have talked about how the, how the diapadesis occur how the cells move from the blood vascular system into the tissue. I am not going to repeat it. I did that in detail in the neutrophils. So, go back to that lecture and check that out. How the diapadesis occur, how the integrins and selectins they stop the cell in the endothelium and then how the cells is extravasated from the blood vessel into the tissue. Now, do you know this thing is a very important thing, very, very important thing. How far, so let us say there is some tissue breakdown here. How far the tissue breakdown product would attract the cells? And the cells are going to be neutrophils and monocytes. How far that attraction power is? Well, normally 100 micrometers. If a tissue is broken down, the tissue breakdown products are going to be present up to 100 micrometers. So, that means if we have tissue damage in an area where a blood vessel is more than 100 micrometers away, that area is not going to get any attention from the cells, right? Right? Here is the funny thing. In our whole body, there is no tissue which does not have a blood vessel, a capillary, which is more than 50 micrometer away from it. There is no cell in our whole body which does not have a blood vessel within 50 micrometers span or, du or distance. So, chemotractant factors or chemotactic factors can go up to 100 micrometers, although the blood vessels are found within the 50 micrometers. So, that means whenever a tissue damage would occur, whenever an infection would occur, this will be for sure that the chemotactic factors will be going out into the blood vessel and monocyte and neutrophils will be coming in. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible, share it with your friends as well.